How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now with the upcoming launch of the new Ryzen 3000 series CPUs, which we're really excited for, we also got some new motherboards and the new platform X570, which has some nice cool new features. So I don't have my CPU yet, but I do have the ROG Strix X570E gaming board from ASUS, which we're just gonna unbox in this video. And then later on, I'm gonna do the review once I have my CPU. So we're gonna see what this board features, what you get inside the box and all of that, and then just get excited for the new CPUs. So firstly, this board is one of their more high-end range boards for the X570 range. So you are gonna expect a higher price with that, but also a lot more performance out. So once we open the box, we are greeted with a cool little box here that lets me see what you get inside. Now it's always a struggle to get these open. I don't know why it's so hard, but yeah, I don't wanna tear the box entirely because it's not my board yet. So we do have our Wi-Fi and antenna, which we'll get into later. Then we have underneath the box, we have our manual, always a nice to have, even though we already read that. Uh, we do have some nice gift cards, message from ASUS. We have some stickers that you can apply if you wanted to on your case or wherever you want. Next, we do have some RGB cables, I believe, or antenna cable. We have some SATA. We have some RGB extensions, more SATA cables. On the other side, we just have some zip ties, which is always useful. I do not enter or prepare, I don't know what to say, like assembly area, <laughs> enter if you dare, and then some M.2 screws. So that's what you get inside the box of the accessories. Now let's take a look at the board. All right, so there we have it. The new ROG Strix X570E Gaming. This is definitely a really nice board. There's so much nice add-ons on the board that ASUS added. Looks really nice. So of course, it is going to support the new Ryzen 3000, but it's also going to support all of the previous generations except the first generation APUs. That one, the chipset, the M4 new X570 doesn't support, unfortunately. But if you have the current uh, APUs, then they will fit. Taking a look at the memory slots, you do get a four dual channel memory uh, that does go up to 128 gigs, which is crazy. Speeds, I'm not entirely sure yet. ASUS didn't specify what speeds it goes up to, what you can overclock it to, but we can expect it to go quite, quite high. Next up, we have our IO cover here that covers some part of the MOSFET and choke coolers, which does look quite beefy. Now, I'm not exactly sure what phase it is. Um, I'll see if I can find that. Now, as for the newest and the most exciting part of these new boards, and that is the PCI Express 4.0, which delivers a double the available bandwidth compared to PCI Express 3.0. And we might see later on graphics cards having a major amount of bandwidth extra, but the currently we can see just NVMEs how crazy fast they've gotten. We saw some at Computex 20 and 19, and these speeds are just crazy. So you can expect some really nice high performance SSDs and then GPUs perhaps later on. But now on this board, you do get two PCI Express 4.0 16 time speed slots. That's gonna be for your main GPUs. It does support Crossfire, it does support SLI, so we're gonna get major performance out of uh, that. But then also you do get here at the bottom, another PCI Express 4.0 16 time, but it only runs at 4X speed. So for all of your add-on cards and so on. And then you do get a two a PCI Express 4.0 1X slots. So PCI Express slots should be enough. Then you do also get two NVMe slots, one here at the top and one at the bottom. Both support the super long 22110 M.2s. And then you do also get these integrated heat spreaders as well. 
Now, because of the new PCI Express of 4.0, we are getting a new chipset that does require a lot of power. And because of that, there's a lot of heat as well. So we're seeing on the new boards that we're actually getting a dedicated fan for the chipset to cool that. Now under this board, we get a really nice large heat spreader. And then just underneath that, you can't really see that, but there's a fan to help cool it. Of course, there's RGB as well there, but we'll see more on that once we actually do the full review. But now moving on to our IO, firstly, we do again get this nice large IO cover covering some part of the MOSFET coolers. And now we can't turn it on yet, uh, but there are some really nice RGB lighting here going on. I'll see if I can add some pictures just to tease you guys a bit. But once you get into the full review, then we'll see all of the RGB goodness. So for the IO, you do get an integrated IO shield, which is really nice. No forgetting to put it in after you've installed the board, which is always a pain. But here at the top, you get an HDMI 2.0 port, a display port 1.2. So for your APUs, they'll be covered there. You do get a BIOS a flashback a button, and then you do not need to have a CPU installed to do BIOS updates. You will use this first USB to do that. Really handy, especially if you do get newer CPUs and you don't have a previous one to update it. So really handy that. Then you do also get seven USB 3.0 Gen 2 Type A ports, super speeds. We're gonna get a lot of speed out of that. Then we do also get a 2.5 gigabyte per second Ethernet connection. Then you also get a, another Ethernet port with ROG Game First of Five, and it also is anti-surge land guard, so you're not gonna have to worry about surges. And then finally, just for the USB, you do get a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C port, which is nice and small. For a Wi-Fi, we do have the Wi-Fi 6 AX200 Wi-Fi connectors here, 2.5 and 5 gigahertz. And finally, we do have our audio for 7.1 that uses the Supreme FX S1220A codec. Before we continue, I just wanna show you guys the back this looks so cool. You get some black text here over the backside and it looks awesome. Now you don't really see the backside of your motherboard only when actually installing it, but just to have that and to see it on the board just looks awesome. So yeah. Then just for power, we do have the 24 pin here on the side. Don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. Then we also do have an eight plus a four uh, power connection here at the top for the CPU for more overclocking headroom, especially on that uh, Ryzen 9 CPUs. Then for pump and fan headers, we do have three here at the top. We have one here below, and then at the bottom, we do have three here as well. So plenty of fan connections. For RGB, we do also have a few, one here at the top, one here at the side, two here at the bottom, and I believe that is it. Then finally, we do have our Q code display here at the bottom to just let you know on postcodes and so on. If you have any troubles, it's a lifesaver. If you do know what the codes are and your system doesn't want to boot, it is definitely a lifesaver. Same goes with the Q LEDs here at the top. Really handy, especially if you just want to quickly see what the problem is. Then to go along with our NVMEs, we do have eight SATA connections here on the side. Do like it that is at a 90 degree angle, makes connecting up really simple. And of course, six gigabits per second. Kinda wish that we'll get a new SATA connection, higher speed SATA connection, because it feels kind of a bit old when compared to PCI Express, which is NVMe speeds. So that is pretty much it for my unboxing, the review again coming a bit later of the new ROG Strix X570e gaming board. Definitely a board that you want to go for if you do want all performance out for your new Ryzen CPUs, or if you want to use it on your second generation Ryzen, you can do that as well, why not? But I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Uh, I will try to post links down in the description below once it's officially out. So 
yeah, that's gonna be there. It's just such a nice looking board. I can't stop looking at it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Big thanks to ASUS of for sending the board over for the review and unboxing. I do hope to see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.